now. It's not right because she is a victim just like my niece and my nephew is. A Covington mother is arrested after police say she brought her kids to a fight that ended in a quadruple shooting. What her family is saying about the incident now. A landscaping company owner is speaking out after being robbed by two thieves. Now. An Ohio fire chief attacks his neighbor and is caught on camera. Now. I don't know how they can stop it. A local woman is warning others after being scammed while trying to register for a craft show. Now. A warm and sunny weekend ahead when you could see temperatures climb into the 80s. Now. From the station that's always local, always now. This is Fox 19 Now at 10. Washington mother has been arrested in connection to the quadruple shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. 34-year-old Ashley Sapp is charged with riot and endangering the welfare of a minor after authorities say she brought two of her kids to a fight that then turned into a shooting. And the documents say that her 7-year-old son was shot as well. Our Courtney King spoke with her sister in an interview you will see only right here on Fox 18 Now. Yeah, Robin Trisha, some of that fight was caught on video, and we spoke with Teresa McMeans. She tells us that she is Ashley Snap's sister, and she says that her niece was actually getting jumped before people started recording that fight, and that's why her sister stepped in. And she also tells us that she went, that Snap went there to talk to another parent about bullying, not to fight. The sister is a good person. She don't deserve to be in jail. On Wednesday, 34-year-old Ashley Snap was arrested and charged with riot and endangering the welfare of a minor. Court documents say it's in connection to the quadruple shooting in Covington last month. We spoke with SNAP's sister, Teresa McMeans, over the phone. It's, it's not right because she is a victim just like my niece and my nephew is. She's a victim just like everybody else. Officers say SNAP brought her teenage daughter to 17th and Russell Street for her to fight another girl. Teresa says SNAP thought they were just going to talk with another parent about prior bullying before the shooting. She's reported it to the police. She has reported it to the school. But court documents say the fight, caught on video, became disorderly and violent. The warrant says Snap pulled a woman's hair and dragged her to the ground. What was she supposed to do, stand there and let her daughter get jumped by 12 people? Snap's seven-year-old son was one of the four people shot. The warrant says she brought him to the fight. She told her son to stay home with the babysitter, and he snuck out, and he ran up there on his own. She did not bring him. He ran up there on his own. Teresa says he is now okay and wants people to know the full story. And now she's sitting in jail, and, and God knows what's going to happen to her. She's a good mom. She's a great mom. She takes very good care of her kids. And Teresa tells us their family is upset because another parent was at that fight turned shooting who hasn't been arrested. But authorities do tell us that they are expecting to make more arrests in this case. So we will update you if or when that happens. But we're live in Covington. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Thank you, Courtney. Uh, so weather-wise, hopefully you got outside and you enjoyed it today. It's continuing to get better. Yeah, 80s yeah. this weekend, huh, Steve? Absolutely. Both Saturday and Sunday, dry with 80s. Summertime heat without the summertime humidity. So actually, we really need something like this. It's been a long time. You can see the cloud cover continuing to move off to the south and east. There is some more coming in from in this big blob around here. It's just what we call false echoes uh, around the radar site. As we zoom out here, you can see a little bit of shower activity with that cloud cover. It's going to weaken and stay to the north of us, uh, according to all the models. Uh, but for several hours here, the skies are going to be clear over parts of the tri-state. So the National Weather Service has issued a dense fog advisory until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. It is for Switzerland and Ohio County in southeast Indiana, all of northern Kentucky, Claremont, Brown, Adams, Highland, and Clinton counties in uh, southern Ohio. And here's what the model says at 8 a.m. It says visibilities in many areas less than a half a mile, three-tenths of a mile in Maysville by 9.30. Still some restricted visibilities down over northern Kentucky. Now, at this point, the visibility doesn't look like it will drop to about a quarter mile. A quarter mile is about where we begin to see problems with traffic, but be aware there may be some slow going, especially across northern Kentucky and the uh, southern part of Ohio tomorrow morning for the morning commute. More on that and that warm up when I come back. Thank you, Steve. A landscaping company in Colerain Township had their business um, had grinded to a halt earlier today because of some thieves. That's right. Cody Fisher is live in Colerain with this story you will see only right here on Fox 19 Now. 
Guys, the owner of this business tells me that these thieves were in this area outside of his greenhouses, which as you can see is pretty dark. So under the cover of darkness, these thieves, he says, comes up to this door, breaks through the glass, and that's how they got inside. Now, what they got away with is hitting him and his business where it hurts. Joe Kappel opened his own landscaping company seven years ago. Because the only thing keeping people out is greenhouse glass, they've seen break-ins over the years. But Kappel says this break-in at 1.20 in the morning on Wednesday is by far the worst. These two suspects got away with cash and thousands of dollars in iPads. That we use for our cash registers, um, our lawn and landscape crews use them to do their daily um, jobs. We run everything off of them. They took the way we do business and we couldn't operate. This theft comes at the worst possible time. Their business is just now picking back up now that winter is ending and spring is almost sprung. Cash flow's tight and to take a hit like this is, it's, it, it hurts. What hurts even worse, the thieves took the very first dollar Capel made, which he kept for sentimental reasons. For someone just to come in and take something that you were really proud of is it's it's just not a good feeling moving forward they're going to increase their already robust security which includes cameras all over the greenhouse and other measures it'll be harder but you can't stop everybody which is why they just want people like this to just be better people and not steal things that aren't theirs go find something else to do If you recognize the people in that security gamer video and you know any information about who robbed this small business, call Coleraine Township Police. Reporting live, Cody Fisher, Fox 19 Now. Cody, thanks. A woman scammed out of her money after trying to just register for a local Kratz show. Our Chancellor Wynn joins us live in studio with more on what's happening across multiple states. This is another story we'll see only right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, on social media, event planners from Iowa, Michigan, South Carolina, and even here in Ohio are warning people of a Facebook profile that is posing as a coordinator for events and accepting vendor application fees. But as one woman in Mount Healthy discovered, the fee never actually makes it to the actual event coordinator. Harry Cook says she simply was registering for the Mount Healthy Eagles vendor and craft show and saw a post in the Facebook group that spots were filling up. I felt like I'd been had, you know, and it, you know, it was, it was just, it was so easy for them to do it. The profile, in fact, was not affiliated with the craft show. And when the actual organizer of the Mount Healthy Eagles vendor and craft show, Mandy Meeker, was alerted to the scam, she says she went on Facebook and discovered the same profile has been performing a similar scam on event pages across multiple states. All these different craft show vendors and events were talking about this lady scamming them. And I was just like, oh my God, so how many other people has this happened to? Cook says the scammer asks for a name, email, and phone number to register them as a vendor, then proceeds to ask for a payment of $40 via PayPal. It popped up that the payment was made to a man instead of the woman that I was talking to, then I knew something was wrong. As soon as the payment was made, Cook says the scammer messaged her again, stating that she would have to pay even more money for a larger booth in order to be a vendor. That's not what you just told me two minutes ago. You told me it was a certain size um, area and that's what I was paying for. And then you come back and tell me that no, that if I want you know, the bigger spot in order to be there, I got to send more money. Cook says she doesn't know if there is any recourse to recover the $40, which is money that Meeker believes could have been essential to many families. It's taken away from money that could have went towards um, a bill, your kids' sports, or just a family fun night. Before paying registration fees for any event, Meeker suggests reaching out to the event organizer and confirming the validity of the event before making any form of payment. Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. A lot of bleeping going on. And this teenager lured into a park. She's attacked by her peers. All caught on tape. We'll tell you what police say started it all. An Ohio firefighter facing federal charges, accused of attacking his neighbor. A look at the shocking moments, as you can see, caught on camera. The Bearcats are expected to make history in the NFL draft one week from tonight, but how much history 
It might surprise you. We'll break it down. And in the seven-day forecast, here's the good stuff you've been waiting for. Our upper 70s tomorrow, 80s for the weekend, but then it's uh, kind of a downhill slide. We'll talk about it all when I come back. NFM Lending. Fox 19 Now's first alert weather is all about you. Trust the Tri-State Zone, Steve Horsmeyer, and the First Alert Weather Team. Plus, get instant updates with the First Alert Weather app. Know before you go with First Alert Weather. Fox 19 Now is sponsored by Fifth Third Bank. Make banking a Fifth Third better. Now, Trisha Mackey, Rob Williams, and Chief Meteorologist Steve Horsmeyer. You're watching Fox 19 Now. 15-year-old Hallie Deaton died in a car crash Tuesday in Wayne Township. Peyton Marshall joins us live as family and friends gathered for a vigil in her honor. Rob, Trisha, it's dark here now, but just a few hours ago, many community members gathered here in the grass dressed in red for a balloon release for a candle vigil to honor Hallie. Now, I sat down and spoke with Hallie's friends and family who tell me they're still in shock that her death just doesn't feel real. I don't know what to do about her. She's irreplaceable. There's no one ever going to be like her again. I did not want to cry. <laughs> I just never thought we would have to be doing this. Madison and Michaela said they never thought they'd be mourning the death of their best friend, Hallie Deaton, especially at only 15 years old. I just wish she was here, and I just don't think it's fair. Madison's last memory with Hallie was getting their nails done together. Memory they got the same yeah. color, um, and Madison hasn't changed them since. One, two, three, one. She had her whole life bad. A red sea of shirts filled the Trenton City Park. Candles lit and sunflower covered balloons painted the sky. Hallie's friends say red was her favorite color and she just adored sunflowers. She was one of the most nice, caring, always happy person. Hallie died on Tuesday after a crash near Edgewood Middle School. Sheriff deputies and fire crews say Deaton was not wearing a seatbelt and she was trapped inside the Ford Mustang. She was with three other teens. Her boyfriend Charles was also in the car with her. Charles, back there. This boy right here, he was in the wreck with her and all you can think about is where she was and how she was. And that, you're a good boy, son. You hear me? Charles told me that Tristan is just devastated and so sorry and he never like wanted this to happen and he never meant for anything to happen and just that he was so sorry and he just kept saying that he was sorry he couldn't forgive himself. Community members grieving a life taken far too soon. I had to bury my father at 12. Now I gotta bury my daughter when she's 15. On our website, there's a link to a GoFundMe to help the family with funeral costs. Morning Live in Trenton, Peyton Marshall, Fox 19 Now. Peyton, the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office is trying to find multiple suspects at a crash, uh, smash and grab store. Yeah, we'll get Jeremy out of the way there. I He's all, talking about crashing my story. So this happened at the Kenwood Louis Vuitton store. Surveillance pictures showing the mass robbers inside the store and they just grabbed everything the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says they pushed past the employees at the, the door and they stole every single thing from the showroom floor stealing four hundred and thirteen thousand dollars worth of merchandise other witnesses inside the mall called 911 describing what they saw and we just watched like 15 guys go into Louis Vuitton and rob the store and as soon as we started walking back they all ran in there and they started grabbing knocking stuff over and then ran out and as soon as we had our backs turned the security guard right there was running in but they were already out so that caller told the dispatcher that it all happened within three minutes a Louis Vuitton bag can range in price from $1,500 to $50,000. The suspects were last seen leaving the scene pretty quickly going down the highway. Two vehicles, a dark gray SUV and a black sedan. Let's look at them right there. According to the sheriff's office, they were seen going north on 71. The sheriff's office says these pop-up robberies have become a trend. 
But this might be the first significant one they've seen in our area. If you have any information, call the sheriff's office. Right now, Covington police are searching for this man. He's accused of robbing the Fifth Third Bank in Covington. Police say the suspect is about 20 to 30 years old, six feet tall. They say the suspect did not show a weapon, but it's unclear if he was armed. I know you can't see much of his face, but if you know who that is, call police. Jeremy cannot wait for us to tell this story. Yeah. He just like came in here and just like crashing the party. The Bearcats made history in the college football playoff and they're about to do it again. Yeah, a week from tonight, it's the NFL draft. So uh, this is a huge night for them, right? Yeah, such a big night that I had to come out here early, just wander around on camera for a few seconds there. Hey, I'm on TV, Mom. Uh, this is setting up to be a record draft for the Bearcats in more ways than one. And the biggest record could have to do with number one, Ahmad Sauce Gardner. He could be the highest draft pick in UC football history one week from tonight. Gardner is now the overwhelming favorite to be the first cornerback selected in the draft next week. He is making the trip to Vegas for the draft, if Sauce goes in the top four, it would be program history for the Bearcats. If Desmond Ritter also gets the call in the first round, it would be more history. UC has only had two first round picks in program history, and it was not in the same year. That is just part of the story on how massive this draft is for the Bearcats. Sauce is already thinking about what happens after he gets drafted. I want to be the best, you know, I don't care how old I am. You know, and I just want to keep growing. You know, as I get older, I want to continue to get better. You know, I don't want to be one of them guys who's 25 years old and I'm in my prime. And then if I'm 30 years old and still playing, then I'm just sloping down. You know, I just want to keep getting, keep getting better and better each year. Yeah, Ahmad said he wants to be a pro bowler and an all pro in his rookie season in that interview. This list is not in order where they could be drafted. It's offense and defense. But you get the picture and you see eight names on your screen. All eight were invited to the NFL Combine. And here's more history. The most UC has ever had drafted in a single draft was six in 2009. All eight of these players could make history next weekend. Back to Ahmad Gardner now. He is a lock to be drafted somewhere in that first round. It would be the first time that's happened for UC, a first rounder in more than 50 years, guys. So across the board, next Thursday and beyond, the second, third round and beyond on Saturday and into the weekend could be a major, major history-making weekend for the Bearcats. I mean, first rounder, that's huge, honestly. Yeah, and that but Dreaming big, too. I know. Yeah, and the thing is, is, you know, it's hard to project exactly what teams are going to do there in the top 10 if he does go top 10. But understand that Greg Cook was the highest UC player ever drafted, number five overall by the Bengals in 1969. So a mod to make history would have to be top four. And there are some teams there. Think of a team like the Jets who do like a mod. So it's something we'll have to wait and see. Hmm. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Jeremy, thank you. Yeah. Uh, I hope you have some good plans outside this weekend. It doesn't matter what day. Mm -hmm. Just get out there and enjoy it. Isn't that nice? You, you don't have to worry about rearranging your plans to fit the weather. We've got a weekend that's going to be good. And uh, both days, summertime heat without summertime humidity, both days into the lower 80s uh, with what we call filtered sunshine. There's that false echo activity there. You see the cloud cover is kind of pushed to the south, but there is more on the way. You can see out here that there's some of this cloud cover coming our way. This is going to stay north of the tri-state um, as it uh, moves off to the east. I'll show you that in the model run in a minute. And here's the wide view. And now we're going to switch over to model data. And what you'll see is the model's got a little bit more rain out here than we see. The orange here is the warm air that we've been talking about so much. So let's put this into motion. You can see the rainfall moves off to the north into Michigan. Uh, we have a few showers showing up here, so I can't rule out an isolated pop-up shower tomorrow, but basically warm and dry temperatures making it into the upper 70s. 80 on Saturday with no rain anywhere near us. Sunday, no rain until we get into probably Sunday night. This front coming our way is well off to the west during the day on Sunday. So we're going to end up with dry, warm weather once again. Monday, that front comes through and brings us a wet day. And then we're just going to let it roll here without stopping for the next uh, the 10 days. And you can follow what's happening weather-wise up here. Uh, you can see that there is no temperature anywhere near 70 and there's no temperature anywhere near 80 either, but we do have a few 60s. We have several episodes of rainfall. So after the nice weekend, we go into a kind of an unsettled wet pattern as we head into late 
uh, next week around the tri-state. Fog advisory, a dense fog advisory in effect for tomorrow morning until 9 a.m. for the counties that are shaded in. Now, there will be fog in the other counties also, but the cloud cover as it's coming in overnight will probably be enough to stop a lot of dense fog from the counties that aren't shaded in. And uh, the model output shows that there will be quite a few places where the visibility drops below a half a mile. Usually a quarter mile is kind of the boundary where traffic is slowed because of visibility. But overall, what we're looking at here is we're looking at a foggy start. So a dense fog advisory overnight. Uh, rogue shower can't be ruled out tomorrow. It'll be warmer than today. Uh, filtered sunshine for Saturday. Filtered sunshine again on Sunday, both days in the 80s. Overnight, temperatures drop off to about 50. We'll see some spots where the air or the sky is clear, other places where it's still cloudy. And then tomorrow, winds out of the south. Temperatures into the upper part of the 70s as we head into a nice afternoon. So here's your seven-day forecast. We're looking at a low tonight of 50, high tomorrow of 76. The Reds are back in town tomorrow, and for the first time this year, it's a fireworks Friday. As the game begins down at Great American Ballpark, about 68 when the game ends, 64 as the fireworks begin. So it looks like a good evening for baseball and for fireworks as the Reds play the Cardinals. 81 and 80 for Saturday and Sunday with that filtered sunshine. Monday, we've got the showers in there. And then partly cloudy weather Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with highs back down into the 50s. I'll be back in a little while, and we'll take a look at Beyond the 7-Day Forecast. Steve, thanks. The suspect leading police on a wild chase. A look at shocking moments that were caught on camera as well. A fire station damaged by this reckless driver. The latest in the search for it. Some new info on the investigation of a police officer accused of shelving rape kits for years. What the Hamilton County prosecutor is saying about that now. Fox 19 Now First Alert Weather is sponsored by your Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky Toyota dealers. Here are five big reasons to buy a Toyota RAV4. Because the truck of the future isn't built for a few, it's built for Cincinnati. Ford F-150, drive one today. Now get an F-150 with 0.9% financing for 60 months plus $1,000 retail bonus cash from your Cincinnati Ford dealer. This portion of Fox 19 Now is sponsored by You Move Me. An assistant fire chief in Lorain, Ohio is facing felony charges after attacking his neighbor. And the entire thing caught on camera. Take a look. Home surveillance video shows the assistant fire chief walking up to his neighbor before body slamming him against a car, grabbing his throat, and then tackling him to the ground. The suspect, Matthew Homoyla, allegedly threatened to kill his neighbor and neighbor's two German shepherds, too. I am not around. I told you I would f*** you up. I just woke up. I never talked to you like that, mother. Police say he claims his dog was attacked when it wandered into his neighbor's yard, which led to him attacking his neighbor and his neighbor's dog. He's accused of hitting one of the German shepherds over the head with an axe. The assistant fire chief is charged with aggravated burglary, cruelty to animals, assault, and failure to confine a dog. And we try to get them all. A Texas high school student lured into this park and just beaten up, and it's caught on camera. Police say the 17-year-old victim was meeting another girl to return a pair of shoes. But when the teenager arrived, she was met by a group. Police say only one girl threw punches, but the others arranged that meetup, and, and then they everybody recorded it. So this girl starts yelling at Maya, and Maya turns around, she's trying to walk away from her to go get in her car to leave. And so the girl hit her on the back of the head and then just jumped on her and started beating her. There's another uh, look at it right there. She couldn't get away. The victim's aunt went with her to the park, having a feeling that something was a little bit off about the meetup. Police say it was her aunt who was able to pry the suspect off of the victim. And according to police, the entire incident started over a boy. The victim really didn't seem to have much, many issues with the, with the suspect, but the suspect had some serious problems with the victim. So that was her way of settling it. There was a police report filed with our department about a month ago by the victim. Through our investigation, found out this was a retaliation for the victim filing the police report. The girl that was attacking her, she said, go file a report on that now. 
So the victim has no broken bones or internal injuries. She was left with a concussion and she has a lot of damage to her face as you just saw. Police say the attacker could, we don't know, but could face felony charges. Police in Missouri are searching for two men who caused thousands of dollars in damage at a local fire station. Surveillance video shows the suspect pulling up to the fire station in a truck. Both men are then seen getting out to urinate. Once they're done, the men get back into the truck and the driver begins doing donuts in the gravel driveway, sending stones flying into the air. Police say the gravel ended up breaking several windows, causing $3,000 in damages. So they force it, and when they force the door open, there it goes out the window, head first, right through the glass. Right through the glass. A burglary suspect in Florida trying to escape police by jumping out that window, head first. And before this happened, police say they responded to a different home for reports of a suspicious person. Probably 20 deputies get there, set up a perimeter, the dogs are out, um, and he's jumping fences and breaking into houses as he goes. He basically chased a woman into her house, and she had kids in the house, and she locked the door just in time as he got to the door and started pulling on it. Police say one homeowner even shot at the suspect. He missed. Body cam footage showing the moments police finally caught up with him. Police co uh, coerced him and cornered him into a bedroom of a home that he broke into. The suspect jumping through the window right here before police arrest him in the backyard, ending in a really um, chaotic manner. We're alerting new details in the investigation of a Cincinnati police officer, Chris Schroeder. You might remember Schroeder is accused of shelving rape DNA test results for years, potentially impacting hundreds of cases by criminals not being caught and victims not getting justice. Well, today, Helena County Prosecutor Joe Dietz confirmed with the support of Governor DeWine and Attorney General Dave Yost, a special investigator and prosecutor have been assigned to rule all of his cases. So Dieters released a statement to us saying, quote, these investigators are actively reviewing more than 800 cases handled by Schroeder. Once the review is complete, we will update the public. The cases handled by the Personal Crimes Unit are some of the most serious offenses we deal with in the criminal justice system. We will review every case file to ensure the victims related to his case have received justice. Now, we first brought you this story back in October of 2021. Schroeder joined the department in January of 1999 and was assigned to the Personal Crimes Unit in the Criminal Investigation Section from July of 2007 until he was transferred in July to District 1. Cincinnati police say this all came to light when police conducted an audit after a change in leadership at CIS. Now, Warren County School Superintendent avoids jail time after admitting to stealing money from the district. Former Spring Grove Superintendent Daniel Schreyer was sentenced in Lebanon today. On 16 separate occasions, Schreyer admitted to police that he falsified school records and was reimbursed for travel he didn't go on for school purposes. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell had this to say, quote, this case is not about simple errors in judgment or not understanding conflicts of interest. Schreyer repeatedly lied when he submitted fraudulent mileage reimbursement for trips he knew that he never took. As far as the ruling is concerned, Fornshell tells Fox 19 now, obviously the sentence he received was less than what we requested and believed was appropriate given the nature of his conduct. I accept full responsibility. I apologize for my actions to everyone at Springboro School District, Springboro community. I will uh, correct all actions for the future. I just, I can't thank my friends and family enough. So many people, so many calls, so many people here today for me. And I look forward to making everything right. According to Ohio Ethics Commission investigators, Schreyer solicited and received personal loans totaling $1,500 from three employees of the district who worked under him and loans of more than $3,500 from vendors who were doing or asking to do business with the school district. If he violates his probation, the judge said Schreyer could immediately go to prison for up to three years. Right now, a mail carrier for USPS is facing some charges after allegedly stealing credit cards. This right here is 25-year-old Kanya Tyler. Delhi Township Police say last week, a Delhi Township resident noticed fraudulent charges on a new credit card that had not been ordered. 
and, and not delivered. The card was used multiple times in Norwood, and police identified the person using the cards as her. One of the victim's mail carriers. When police interviewed her, she admitted that uh, there was theft and had several more stolen credit cards in her purse as well, according to police. Tyler was taken to the Hamilton County Justice Center, charged with felony theft. Detectives anticipate some more charges in the future. Kentucky's new abortion law has been put on hold for now. The law bans most abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. It also restricts clinics from prescribing abortion medication. Planned Parenthood and the American Civil Liberties Union filed lawsuits challenging the law. They argued that it violates the Constitution and that compliance was not possible for the two remaining abortion clinics in the state since state agency forms and processes were not yet available. A federal judge responded by granting a temporary restraining order that blocks the bill from being enforced. The restraining order will remain in effect no longer than 14 days, though. Certain Duke Energy customers will soon get a bill credit of about 133 bucks, According to a news release, the credit is part of a settlement with the state and the implementation of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. More info is on our website. We are learning more about a gun found inside a bathroom at the Oakley Kroger. This is a photo that police posted online. New court documents obtained by Fox 19 Now shows that when officers arrived, they found the gun unloaded with that magazine laying next to it. The gun was run in a weapons database and was not listed as stolen. Police tell us they'll continue to investigate. More drugs taken off the streets thanks to the North of Kentucky Drug Strike Force. During an investigation, officers found a lot of fentanyl, cocaine, mushrooms, LSD, and marijuana. They also found about $13,000 in cash and a gun. The task force did not say anything about the suspects, but says that their investigation is ongoing. A quick reminder, tickets are on sale right now to win this beautiful home in Batavia. It's worth $525,000. It's part of the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway. Tickets cost $100. All the money goes back to St. Jude and the fight against childhood cancer. We're only selling 13,000 tickets, and at last check, we sold 8,000, so there's only five left, so don't wait. More information, go to our website, fox19now.com. An eight-year-old boy, hysterical, in the back of a police car. What the police department is saying about the incident. A close call on Ohio Highway caught on cramped camera. What ODOT officials are now saying. This portion of Fox 19 Now is sponsored by You Move Me. Amber J. Umph and Chris Riva, weekdays at 3. With Volkswagen, any choice is a smart choice. More vehicles are arriving all the time. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today to learn more about the joyful 2022 Taos. Limited inventory available. We do it all at Closets by Design. Closets, garage, home office, and more. Take 40% off, plus get 12-month financing and free installation. Call 1-800-BY-DESIGN or visit closetsbydesign.com. Follow your adventures with the thrilling performance of Honda. The brand owners are calling the most fun to drive. Hurry into a local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. I thought Booth 47 was Lords of Trenton. Oh, the comic convention was last week. What? This is an insurance convention. Some insurance companies are known for their mascots. Told you. You didn't tell me. NJM is known for outstanding service you can count on. With a full range of BMW X vehicles available, no matter what adventure lies around the corner, there's an X for that. This is your local BMW Center and order your ultimate driving machine today. Driving around here can be an adventure. There's potholes and barrels and deer. Oh my. Make sure you're prepared for the unexpected. Stop by CarX, where right now lifetime brake pads are only $109.99 per axle. $109.99 installed. CarX provides the best in brakes, tires, and bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto repair. We'll get you safely on the road. Just be sure to stay on your toes. Don't worry, call the CarX man. Safe auto. 
some things aren't worth putting off, like your car insurance. Good thing we're here to remind you. Follow your adventures with the rugged power of Honda. The brand owners are calling the most fun to drive. Hurry into a local Honda dealer where new vehicles are arriving daily. With Volkswagen, any choice is a smart choice. More vehicles are arriving all the time. Visit your Volkswagen dealer today to learn more about the versatile 2022 Tiguan. Limited inventory available. Where are you going? Can we just go through this? Police in Syracuse, New York, releasing new body camera footage showing an interaction between officers and an eight-year-old boy after cell phone video of the incident went viral. Body cam video shows the officer dumping a bag of chips in the boy's lap as he sits on a bike. After the boy allegedly stole a bag of chips, the video also shows the boy hysterically crying in the back of the cruiser. While we you know, have talked about the, the positive outcome overall in terms of the, the, the children, the specific child going home and being with his family, there's no doubt that there is trauma there. Um, and and that, that experience will influence how that, how that child views law enforcement. Police say the boy was not handcuffed and the officers took him home and spoke with his father. On the first alert weather app, you can track what's going on. You see all the county shaded in gray here. All you got to do is tap one, and the information box comes up, tells you it's a fog advisory. As a matter of fact, a dense fog advisory until 9 a.m. tomorrow for all the counties that you see there that are shaded in. We'll have more on that and a nice weekend when I come back. While masking on planes right now is well over, one airline's making sure passengers stay in line. How they say they're going to make certain people prove themselves before they let them fly. Fox 19 Now Closed Captioning is sponsored by Help Plumbing, Heating, and Drain. Shop the lowest prices of the season at Morris Home. Beds starting at $3.98, sofas starting at $4.48, and new outdoor groups arriving daily. Plus, no interest for 48 months and free delivery. Expect more. Morris Home. Having a hard time finding a good car at a great price? Visit Tom Gill Chevrolet. We have the most used and certified pre-owned vehicles in Northern Kentucky. Come to Tom Gill Chevrolet where you always feel the magic. Show your home some love with a fresh new look from Furniture Fair. Take an extra 10% off the area's lowest prices guaranteed with no interest financing for 12 months and free curbside shipping. Love your home through Monday at Furniture Fair. It's your journey. Own it in the Hyundai Tucson. Get 2.25% APR for 500 bonus cash on the new Tucson with inventory arriving daily. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Health. Suddenly that word seems more important these days as it's consumed all aspects of our lives and made our universes feel smaller than ever. But at Mercy Health, your health has always been our top priority, and we're staying as committed as always to personalizing the right care for you. Because whether here or from home, we believe your health care should always revolve around you. Mercy Health, primary care for the universe of you. Visit mercy.com slash primary care to connect with the provider today. J.D. Vance, in his own words. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. As somebody who doesn't like Trump, I might have to hold my nose and vote for Hillary Clinton. I didn't vote for Trump because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious, him being re really outrageous and offensive. On Twitter, Vance called Trump, quote, reprehensible, an idiot, and Vance loves Mitt Romney. I'm a never Trump guy. That's the real J.D. Vance. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this ad. J.D. Vance called for higher taxes, and Jane Timken bankrolled tax raising politicians they're taking mike gibbons words out of context to hide their own terrible records mike gibbons never voted for a single tax increase and never will 
That's why I'm supporting conservative outsider Mike Gibbons. Mike Gibbons will fight to end the reckless spending of your tax dollars. Help me take back America and support Mike Gibbons for Senate. I'm Mike Gibbons, and I approve this message. Using a parts bin as a pan to make the best pizza crust on the planet could only happen in Detroit. Visit JetsPizza.com for a hot deal on our chicken, bacon, ranch pizza, and more. Jets. Better because it has to be. Get the free Fox 19 Now app on your smart TV or streaming device. Exclusive special reports. Always local news and weather. Download and start streaming today. Shop the lowest prices of the season at the Better Sleep Shop 2. Pay no interest for 36 months with no money down. And get a twin mattress for as low as $6 per month. Or a queen bed in a box for just $9 a month. Plus free delivery. Only at the Better Sleep Shop inside Ashley and Morris Home. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says that he could take executive action in legalizing medical marijuana. The Democratic governor made it clear that he was frustrated the Republican-dominated legislature did not pass a bill this session to legalize medical marijuana. So today he laid out four steps he's going to take over the next few months in an effort to make it legal. First, he says he has asked his general counsel for options on executive action, meaning how the governor could go around the legislature to make it law. Second, he says he's going to assemble a medical cannabis advisory team. Bashir says that team is going to travel all around the state, hosting at least four town halls to hear what Kentuckians have to say about the topic. He also launched a special email for people to weigh in. For all those who have advocated over the years from our veterans who are suffering from chronic pain or PTSD to mothers who are seeking help for children suffering uh, from seizures, I want you to know that we not only hear you, we want to hear directly from you. The time has certainly come. And today, again, we're setting up uh, a framework and a process. Now the bill passed the House this session, but wasn't taken up in the Senate. Republicans say some lawmakers want to see more research on the matter. 37 states, including Ohio, currently allow some form of medical marijuana. Big Ash Brewing in Anderson Township will reopen tap room tomorrow. The business has been closed since Saturday when a fire broke out in the kitchen. But according to the owners, the fire was caused by faulty electronics and they're going to be ready to go. No one was inside at the time and no injuries were reported, but the fire does remain under investigation. Tomorrow would be a good time to get out there and, you know, have a beer if you can outside. Totally, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then that... that um both days on the weekend, I mean, it's going to be above 80, and it's, since it's spring, it's not going to be humid. Uh, that's right, and the mornings will be cool. Temperatures not really warm like summer, but uh, pleasantly cool in the mornings. Nice and warm with lots of sunshine in the afternoon. We call it filtered sunshine because there'll be some high, thin cloud cover out there, but it'll be a great-looking weekend. We haven't had two days or more in a row in the 80s since early October, so it's been a while, and it's going to. You know, I, I imagine every place you think of going, it's going to be pretty crowded over the weekend because of the great weather. There you see uh, what we call false echoes as the air stabilizes. You begin to see. Uh, some, the radar beam literally bouncing off of different layers of the atmosphere and making it look like there's rain, but there's none. Here's this system. It's going to head to the north of us. And notice the one pretty hefty-looking thunderstorm just dying out, exactly what the model said would happen. So all this is going to head north of us, but it does get close enough tomorrow that I can't rule out what I call a renegade shower, just a shower here and there. Uh, but most of us will not see any rain at all tomorrow. Dense fog advisory in effect for all the counties shaded in, all of northern Kentucky. Ohio and Switzerland counties in Indiana, and then Clinton, Highland, Adams, Brown, and Claremont counties in southern Ohio. Now, uh, the model says that tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., there'll be a number of spots, especially where you see that advisory in effect, where the visibility is less than a half mile. It usually takes a quarter mile or less to really negatively impact uh, traffic, so there could be some spots in here uh, where traffic is slowed because of that. Uh, Frank Marzullo is in tomorrow morning, uh, along with Ethan Emery. They will have the latest for you. And, of course, traffic will be starting at 4.30 a.m. And then he, uh, you can see by the time we get to 9.30 a.m., it's pretty much gone, but there's still some pockets of thick fog uh, from Falmouth to Brooksville over to Maysville and to Lewis County and Mount Olivet area. Uh, visibilities right now, well, uh, five minutes ago, the visibility is one and three-quarter miles at CVG, but it does tend to bounce up and down like this. Visibility in Madison, Indiana at a quarter mile, and right now, visibility is 
not bad anywhere else, but there will be some fog tomorrow morning. Temperatures will drop off to about the 50 degree mark by 6 a.m. So we're looking at somewhere around 50 as you head out the door tomorrow morning. And then during the day tomorrow, a high of 76. I think that 76 occurs right around 4 o'clock. 5 to 7 o'clock, still around 75 degrees. So a really nice start to the evening if you've got any plans to go out and about. Climate Prediction Center says the jet stream takes a dip way to the south. We're colder than normal through the 1st of May. Same thing through the 5th of May. And here's what that looks like on those high temperatures. High temperatures really nice tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Going below normal for the rest of the 7-day. And then from the 29th through the 5th of May, 29th of April through the 5th of May, below normal temperatures around the tri-state will continue. So your 7-day forecast looks like this. Low tonight, 50. High tomorrow, 76. I can't rule out an isolated shower in the afternoon, but most of us will not see anything at all. 81 with high clouds and filtered sunshine Saturday, 80 on Sunday, same thing. I've got showers and thunderstorms in the forecast on Monday with a high of 65, and then cooling to highs in the 50s, lows dropping into the 30s. We could see a little frost in this area um, as we head into the end of the seven-day forecast. Of course, you can always track all this by using the First Alert Weather app by Call It, the Weather Center in the palm of your hand. People gathered here tonight in Trenton to remember a teen killed in a crash on Tuesday. In just a few minutes, we'll be hearing from her friends and family. Through St. Vincent de Paul, neighbors help one another. With rent and utilities. With medication. With comfy beds. We are neighbors helping neighbors. Join us and give today. Thank you. Here sits the McDonald's hash brown. The side that makes every breakfast sandwich better. Let's all be more like the hash brown. Try a sausage McMuffin, hash browns, sausage biscuit, or a sausage burrito. Two for two fifty. Bottom up, up, up. Here are five big reasons to buy a Toyota Camry. It's built in the USA with style and innovation. Camry's been the best-selling car for 20 years. Toyota is the longest-lasting brand. And the number one reason, the great fuel savings. At 52 MPG, this electrified Camry hybrid can save you over $5,600 over the next five years. Buy big reasons to buy a Camry. Toyota, let's go places. A man of many faces, Josh Mandel has a history faking values for votes. He'll switch sides to get what he wants. Mandel campaigned with never Trumpers. The liberal media praised him as a moderate. Mandel even backed Democrats. Anything for a vote. Josh Mandel isn't conservative. He's a con man. A Trump tough job creator. Mike Gibbons is not a politician. A real conservative. Mike Gibbons for Senate. I'm Mike Gibbons and I approve this message. J.D. Vance, in his own words. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. As somebody who doesn't like Trump, I might have to hold my nose and vote for Hillary Clinton. I didn't vote for Trump because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious, him being re really outrageous and offensive. On Twitter, Vance called Trump, quote, reprehensible, an idiot, and Vance loves Mitt Romney. I'm a never Trump guy. That's the real J.D. Vance. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this ad. Joe Biden's inflation is crushing Americans. Under Biden's supply chains suffer, prices skyrocket, and he wants higher taxes. But Mike DeWine is fighting back. He cut income taxes for all Ohioans, and he's protecting our jobs and national security by bringing new high-tech manufacturing facilities to our state. So we replace China's supply chains with Made in Ohio. Governor Mike DeWine, he fights and wins for Ohio. Before you go there, you have to get here. It's your local Ford store's great American sales event. Now, built to order any new Ford SUV and get $1,500 bonus cash. Plus, get top dollar on your trade-in. Inventory is arriving daily, so this is the best time to get a new Escape, Edge, Bronco Sport, or Explorer. All IIHS top safety picks, all with $1,500 bonus cash. Now, during the Great American Sales Event, get a Ford Escape and receive $1,500 custom retail order bonus cash, only from your local Ford dealer. Morning class, these two windows may look alike, but they're actually very different. Not all windows have Window Nation's extreme glass system or foam-filled frames for energy efficiency, and no one can match our expert service and installation. So while they may look identical, don't be fooled by imposters. 
Now, buy two windows, get two free. No money down, no interest, and no payments for 24 months. Window Nation, the perfect fit. Through St. Vincent de Paul, neighbors help one another. With clothes. With meals. And anything that makes a house a home. We are neighbors helping neighbors. Join us and give today. Thank you. So this video is from ODOT. You can see an ODOT worker walking on US 48. He sees the SUV hit the ODOT truck, scampers out of the way just in time as the SUV comes skidding sideways past the crew. I know it's all difficult to see, but the driver in the truck that was hit by the SUV was pretty shaken up and taken to a local hospital, but was treated and released. Last year in Ohio, there were over 150 accidents involving ODOT crews. The number is on pace to double this year. Law officials say that it's simply distracted driving in all forms. Police are looking for the suspects in this surveillance video. We'll tell you what they're accused of stealing. Coming up at 11, a Covington mother is arrested after police say she brought her kids to a fight that ended in a quadruple shooting. What her family is saying about this incident, only on Fox 19 Now. With allergies, even your own home can be a challenge. Pet dander and dust mites cause misery year-round for many. Don't live like that. Call Family Allergy and Asthma. Visit one of our six area locations. We make it easy to find relief. Your roof should stay put. That's why we use an average of 8,000 nails to keep things in place. At Fiesel, we care about every single one. The details matter. That's why you hire Fiesel. There's a crowd running for Senate, but only one is endorsed by President Trump, J.D. Vance. Trump gives J.D. Vance his complete and total endorsement. Trump says J.D. is strong on borders, tough on crime, and will hold China accountable. That's why Trump is with J.D. Vance. Make no mistake, there's only one Trump-endorsed conservative, J.D. Vance. Protect Ohio Values is responsible for the content of this advertising. People are having a hard time finding the right vehicle at the right price, but not at Tom Gill Chevrolet. We have the largest used and certified pre-owned inventory in Northern Kentucky. Come shop our large selection or browse online at TomGill.com. Our vehicles come with valuable perks like unlimited free car washes, lifetime free oil changes, and money back guarantee. A huge inventory, convenient shopping experience, and valuable free perks are why you always feel the magic at Tom Gill Chevrolet. Ever wish you could order a Jets pizza with a text? Well, you can. Just text your order to your local Jets pizza number. We'll do the rest, and you'll get 20% off menu price pizzas. So, what are you waiting for? On game day, plan ahead with an accurate forecast. And know before you go, with Fox 19 Now's First Alert Weather, the official forecast for the Reds. Pike's Peak, named after Zebulon Pike, who never made it to the top. Of course, he didn't own a sedan from our sport tuned GT lineup. Well, Zebulon, this one's for you. Get 1.9% APR for up to 48 months on the purchase of a new 2022 K5. Two students were stabbed during a fight at a Baltimore high school. School officials there said that incident happened during lunch. One witness says they saw one of the students take out a knife and one victim was stabbed one time. The other was stabbed five times. They're both expected to be okay, but school officials say a student was arrested and didn't give us really any other details. Meanwhile, in a separate incident, officials found a loaded gun somewhere else 
in the same school. Delta says it will keep its ban on travelers who refuse to comply with the mask mandate on the airline's flights. This comes after the company dropped its face covering requirement. Delta says individuals on the mass non-compliance no-fly list will have to prove themselves to the company, saying its flight privileges will be restored, quote, only after each case is reviewed and each customer demonstrates an understanding of their expected behavior when flying with us. Delta went on to say any further disregard for its policies will land passengers on its permanent no-fly list. A tractor trailer carrying close to 80 cows overturns on a highway in North Carolina. It's near the Winston-Salem this morning in that area. Cows got loose. They were having fun. Eventually, they were rounded up later on the uh, highway uh, and ended up opening back up. But no word on what caused that tractor trailer to crash in the first place. From the station that's always local, always now, this is Fox 19 Now at 11. A Covington mom has been arrested in connection to a quadruple shooting. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. That's 34-year-old Ashley Sapp. She's charged with riot and endangering the welfare of a minor after authorities say she brought two of her kids to a fight that turned into a shooting. Documents say her seven-year-old son was also shot. Our Courtney King spoke with her sister in an interview you will see only right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, so some of that...